exclusive to the young and the restless. Michael Damien makes a promising Danny, and I have something really wonderful planned. During the day, it won't be over till. In any case, it's not over yet, is it? No matter how hard you try, you will never be able to return to your roots. As on the 22nd of December, Michael Damien will be seen once again as Danny Romilotti on The Young and the Restless. It was like returning to a reunion, class reunion, he tells Soaps.com on his return to the show after nearly 20 years away. The writing, besides, is outstanding. I can't believe how faithful the screenplays I've received are to the source material and the character's backstory. And it's a lot of fun, he stresses. There's a lot of meaning behind that. We feel for the characters. I'm really into the rhythmic elements, too. It seems like no time has passed is a line I might have had. As for the actor, the same goes. As they say, the one that got away. Longtime fans can be certain that Danny's sentiments for Christine, the woman he was married to before Phyllis decided she had to have her favorite rock star by any means necessary, have not changed in the slightest over the years. Absolutely, Damien assures us, he still cares about Christine. There's no way around it. The potential for something truly magical to happen is present. He continues, I mean, she was Danny's first love, and I guess vice versa, and we've gone our separate ways. Shush. Don't tell Philip. The decision makers gave me a couple flashbacks, and it was incredibly fantastic and poignant to get a small flavor of my character's backstory. The outlook for Danny's future is exciting as well. Apparently, young and restless isn't only bringing him back for a nostalgic reason. The midday vet teases, the writers have something very great planned. The audience, I believe, will enjoy it. A new version of Danny and Phyllis? On Young and Restless, Danny will also see his ex-wife Phyllis and their son Daniel again. It's a dark tale of how they all met and joined forces back in the day. Traveling Danny was blindsided by Phyllis, Damien says. He was on the road and really busy, so it might be said that she caught him at a weak moment. Find out more about her tumultuous history in a picture exhibit. That was a long time ago, and things have changed drastically since then. They've developed, and there's a fascinating relationship that I think the audience is going to see for the first time. Damien says of the next time we see Daniel and his parents together. This isn't going to be a simple recap or, oh, I remember those scenes totally original, cutting-edge stuff right here. Listen up, devoted viewers. Here is the cast of All My Children, then and now. Maybe there's room for Damien to stay in Geno City now that we know Danny has never gotten over Christine, that her new marriage is doomed, and that times are changing for him and Phyllis. There's a chance he'll confuse the music department at Chancellor Winters with that. Danny, a recording artist who has a collection of gold albums, seems like the ideal person to steer it. I appreciate how the show has helped to preserve the musical genre. For those who don't remember, in 1989, Damien covered Rock On, and it went straight to the top of the charts. As Lee and Bill Bell's format is so iconic, any attempt to pay homage to it is guaranteed to be successful. Agreed. Is it possible, though? Who is Danny? His actor admits, I would state that music has been discussed, so that much is true. There are musical elements that have been discussed and will be discussed, but I can't get into specifics. That's wonderful to hear.